Ciao Juventino of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. I hope you're all doing well, or at least better than my voice, because you hear it, my voice is a bit down. Why? Super early in the morning, I'm recording before Saudi Arabia versus Argentina. It will be live on my channel. I don't know yet if the video will be out before the game or after after the game, depending on the time that I will need to edit the video. So I don't know the result because I'm recording before, but also the voice is really strange because in the last few days I spoke a lot about football, Juventus, yes, but also focusing a lot about the World Cup. Why a bit less about Juventus? It makes totally sense. Everyone is on holiday. Nobody is playing from the remaining people at La Continassa. And also because I'm reading a lot of news that probably are not as relevant. It looks like news to fill in the paper. So what I did today to speak about Juventus, because that is what I really wanted to do, I tried to collect all the relevant news so that after the video, you know what you have to know about Juventus. So remain on the channel because there is a player that we want to extend and make a pillar, a pioneer of the next future Juventus that is targeting young and Italian players, but also thinking about becoming better in our defensive line where we need to change. I could have opened the paper with sport that was saying es mi ultima oportunidad with Lionel Messi it's my last opportunity and there is only one thing I want to add on that one before speaking about Juve well it's my last opportunity looks like it's due that we have to give that World Cup already before playing to Lionel Messi why because it's his last World Cup and no and no I don't agree it will probably also be the last World Cup of Modric and other players like Cristiano Ronaldo but no I don't agree if he deserved to play well and they are performing and they have the result and if Lionel Messi is doing really fantastically well he deserved the World Cup if they are better than the others if not well he goes home and uh, pity for him he will never win the World Cup at least this is my thought about it because a lot of people are pushing the narrative that it's because he's the last one of Lionel Messi he needs to win it it's also the last one of Di Maria for example Corriere dello Sport are going in the same direction Messi on my pew Messi now or never it's now the moment for Messi to shine and to win that World Cup. Curious if, it will, if they will do the same when Portugal will play with Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't think, I don't understand it with Messi that never even, even played in Serie A. Really curious. And then they are speaking about the 6-2 of England versus Iran and then the 1-1 after the goal of the son of George Weah, Timothy Weah that was recuperated and drawn by the goal of Christian Bale. Christian, Garrett Bale, mamma mia, it's morning guys, it's a disaster. Gazzetta dello Sport, they also put Maradona they needed to find the link because Maradona played at Napoli, legend of Serie A, and they wanted to put Maradona. They 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 didn't they couldn't wait for the opportunity to link Messi and Mbappé that will both play today with Serie A. Eh, i figli di di 10, the sons of D. 10, D10, Diego, number 10. Anyway, it is what it is. Then they are also speaking about the recuperation, the record recuperation time, injury time with games that go over 100 minutes is totally incredible. Four games played, more than one hour in additional time. Now, why? That's why they are explaining, because they want to make sure that the loss of time is as less as possible and that we are playing as much as possible the effective playing time really strange decision anyway tutto sport and now we are going to juventus and what i wanted to talk about with locatelli locatelli 2027 la juve fa le cose per bene you locatelli 2027 juventus is doing the right things they are also speaking about di maria milik and rabio that will play today half of Juventus will play today in the World Cup that's why we'll try to watch it really alertly and attentively they are also speaking about Dusan Vlaovic that is out of the top 10 of players of value at the World Cup and then they are speaking about the injury time we already spoke about it why Locatelli 2027 why is Juventus doing the right thing in a few days ago or I believe yesterday in video I spoke about Paredes and Juventus really thinking twice before going and negotiate with Paris Saint-Germain to buy the player they will give him his chance after the World Cup in 2023 for Serie A 2.0 until the end of the season. But at the moment, they are really thinking about is 
Paredes worth the investment of 22 or 25 million euro for his value with a really high salary. We already spoke about it yesterday. Today I'm really happy that I see that Juventus is leaning towards, at the moment, towards the no, giving Locatelli more and more importance in that Juventus. Locatelli that had a disaster start of the season, his agent that you see below on the page, or not, depending on the editing, is saying that the Premier League teams also in the summer they were on Locatelli they were knocking at the door he doesn't care he feels a Juventino he never thought about leaving Juventus because he wants to show the world that he deserves to be in the starting spot seeing that his athletical preparation physical condition in the beginning of the season was not optimal and that's why he was suffering now also with Paredes that didn't play at the end the last six games Locatelli at the center of the project played fantastically well and that's what we deserve to see in the second part of the season Locatelli 2027 I know that for some people it's a debate some people are thinking that probably is a bit overrated and he received a lot of awards and praises by the Italian people because he's an Italian Juventino is it enough for Locatelli to have 2027 I will tell you the truth I'm happy with Locatelli maybe it's not a phenomenon yet I don't know if he will ever reach these levels but if Juventus wants to do things seriously he's one that we have to start with Manuel Locatelli for 2027 I am all in for a big big yes but Juventus is also looking at the future especially in the defense where we have to make sure that our team is going younger and younger and younger with Bonucci that will probably leave not this season but the season after but he is already leaving the field because he's not a starter anymore even if he is the captain of Juventus well Juventus is thinking about two different profiles Guardiol that will play tomorrow with Croatia where we will watch him closely but also Endica Endica the great thing is that he's playing at Eintracht Frankfurt and at the end of this season he will be free so Juventus is on the player of Eintracht Frankfurt it can be a reinforcement second player of the Bundesliga after Filip Kostic from the same team but there is also another player that Juventus is watching for the center back and we are speaking about Strahinja Pavlovic reported by our friends from Italian Football News that can be a really strong player a really really fantastic signing from RB Salzburg RB from Red Bull of course from the defense we go to the youth because I told you Juventus is thinking about the future well Ealing Jr a lot of talks a lot of interest from other teams but Juventus anticipated everyone and they are about to close until 2026 with the English player that impressed a lot in the 47 minutes that he played at the moment with Juventus not only Ealing Jr not only Miretti Fagioli and all these players but but probably also a player that you didn't hear a lot spoken about but it's uh, Mulazzi Mulazzi midfielder of the next gen that is doing fantastically well already leading the under 20 of the Italian national team he's dreaming about Miretti he said Miretti Fabio was an example for all of us a boost of confidence that dreams can happen one of my dreams is to play with the first team of Juventus I don't know if it's a Juve fan or not but it looks like yes he has the real profile of it we have a really beautiful youth academy with really strong players Mulazzi you will hear about him in a few weeks maybe in a few months not not a few years it will be earlier earlier than a few years and then they're also speaking about all the initiatives in the Juventus stadium in the Allianz stadium why the first team is gone we have the women that will play in uh Champions League versus Arsenal on uh, Thursday in our Allianz stadium and then on Sunday we have our next gen that will play for the very first time in the Allianz stadium Mohamed El Shahali was speaking about another bomba of Mercato he was speaking about Milinkovic Savic reported by Alfredo Pedula apparently the meeting that was before the World Cup with the agent Kesman of Milinkovic Savic was really done and really well done because the objective of Juventus was to have an agreement before the World Cup with Sergei Milinkovic Savic because we never know if his World Cup is going totally crazy and he's doing really well the value of the player will even increase more not only the value but also the salary that he will asking apparently they found an agreement with 6 million per year an agreement in case he will arrive to Juventus so now Milinkovic Savic will have to negotiate with Lotito and Tare from Lazio his intention is to renew the contract with a clause sorry a clause between the 40 and the 50 million why because with that clause it will make sure that other teams are having a more facilities to buy it and still give some money to Lazio a clause immediately to be used in the summer now 
otherwise if not he will continue to go and go for free lotito he says a close why not but at least 70 million that according to me is really a lot i told you about world cup guys super martes because it's a super tuesday on the channel we will do two games argentina in the morning and then we'll do france in the evening the other two games are denmark versus tunisia and then <coughs> sorry <coughs> Good morning, guys. Mexico versus Polonia, where I'm curious to see Chesney and Milik playing. I don't want to spend time to speak about the first pages of Mirror Sport that said the six pistols to describe the English team. I don't want to lose time speaking about the other uh, one of Sport, the English paper that was saying six appeal. Probably they were exaggerating a bit. Oh, there is a word still. There was still a word, there was still a word about Vlahovic that unfortunately right before the World Cup he went out of the top 10 of most valuable players in the World Cup. He's 12th right behind Rafael Leao for the players that are playing the World Cup. So he will need to score a lot of goals with Serbia to increase again his ranking and to be there in the top 10 where I believe that he deserved to be in. Now it's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and putting a like. Grazie forza. Juve.